So how about if you can get your phone case designed according to your own specifications? For example, using something like this vintage flower or perhaps this cartoon design. Well, in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to do this in Photoshop using mock-up designs. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So today we're going to look at how to make our own phone cases in Photoshop. Now these are the very resources that are going to aid me in this video and all of them will be linked up in the description. So first of all, what we're going to need is this iPhone glossy phone cases. Now, if you're going to use an Android one, I'll make sure to provide an Android mockup in the description. So you check it out. So you download this mockup and then you're going to open it up. It is a zip file. So we're going to extract it. And then I would, I wouldn't want to extract it straight away. So I just want to open it up straight in Photoshop. So I'm going to open the second one. That is the front PSD. So it is going to open straight away in Photoshop for me. Now, this is what we are having. As a disclaimer, this particular mockup belongs to the right owners. I did not do this. I'm just using it for educational purposes. So basically, this is where the design is. So all that we are going to do is we're going to double click on the smart object over here. And then that is the smart object thumbnail. So you double click over it and it will send you to a different layer. If you want to check out how to use smart objects very well, check out the youtube card over there a full tutorial will be over there for you so this is where we're going to place our design so it is as simple as anything that you can think of now let's go back to our resources and pick any of our flowers so let me first of all go for this particular flower so i drag and drop it inside of photoshop and then i will replace it over here so i'm going to hold shift and on alt of course if you are using for photoshop 2019 you don't need to hold these ones and then the moment I click tick over here, it has filled it. So when I go to close, I go to close and then I'll save the changes to the Adobe Photoshop document. So yes. And then immediately we get back to this one. It changes right away. Isn't this amazing? Now you can do this for a couple of them. You, anytime you want to change it, you just double click over it. Go and get the picture that you want to replace with it. So this time around, let me go for this flora. And then I'm going to increase it out over here. Double click. And then when I decide to close it. There we go. It changes automatically. Now these are the backgrounds. You can change it or you can just turn it off. In case you're going to print, this is the particular format that you're going to send. The PNG format. That you're going to send to the um the printing press for them to get it printed for you it is basically as simple as that also if you don't want the background you can just add a new solid background to it you can choose any color from here any color of your choice of course and then you can leave it over here like that now let's see how it works with pictures with pictures you just have to pick your picture drag and drop it inside of photoshop whether it's a png or a jpeg you just drag and drop it inside of photoshop and then you can drag it like this to fill make sure it has filled the whole of the document so that is it i want it to be around here perfect and then let's see how the magic works so we close it and then we're going to save it and that is the magic isn't this so beautiful and amazing you just have to send this to any printing press perhaps printing presses that they print phone covers and they are going to get this sorted out for you so assuming it's your picture all that you need to do is get the mock-up open up the smart layer thumbnail over here and then replace it with your picture it is as simple as that the final one that i will be replacing over here is that of sarkodie the latest artist of the decade in ghana right now so like that and then you can press ctrl t to just finish it up over here like this 
and then when he closed it up let me try to bring this down and then when he closed it up and save it yes and that is it isn't this so beautiful like you're going to change the color from here let me change the background color to something that will make it awesome and popping let me know in the comment section which color was your choice your favorite and that is it so that is the simplest way you can take to design your own cover art just remember in case you want to go and print it just turn off the backgrounds and save it as a png file on any place like you save it as a png file on any destination and then you can send this to any printing press that of course they print covers and then you can get this done for you i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video let me know about your thoughts and if you want to know how to make these cartoons also i have videos to cover them up so you might want to check them out once again thank you so much for sticking around and i'll see you in the next one it's innocent here Bye.